Today, we are going to be looking at a very aggressive chess trap from the fried liver attack. Let's get started. Many of you chess players probably know the fried liver attack. For those who don't, the fried liver attack is a very aggressive variation on the Italian opening. Many beginners play the fried liver because of its quick and easy attacks against the enemy king. The Italian opening is defined by five moves. E4, E5, Knight F3, Knight C6, and Bishop C4. These moves are all logical. Both players are just developing their pieces normally. The line that we are going to be looking at is where black plays the two knights defense with the move knight f6. Afterward, white targets the weak f7 pawn by playing the move knight g5. Black has only one move to defend the f7 pawn, which is d5. White recaptures with the e pawn, and black captures again with the knight, initiating a discovered attack on the knight on g5. However, white has a small tactic that involves sacrificing the knight on g5 and playing knight takes f7. Black responds with king takes f7 and white plays queen f3, forking the king and the knight. The line that we are going to be looking at is where black chooses to hide the king away on g8. For white, there is a mate in 3 here. Pause the video and see if you can find it. There are two possible solutions. Bishop takes d5, queen takes d5, queen takes d5, bishop e6, and queen takes e e6 checkmate, or queen takes d5, queen takes d5, bishop takes d5, Bishop e6, and bishop takes e6, checkmate. Both scenarios are a quick 10-move checkmate for white. That's all I have for you guys today. Please like and subscribe for more weekly content like this.